All right, y'all. Oh, speaking of heroes, before I forget, God bless Jay-Z and Beyonce, man. Bought the most expensive house ever in the history of California. I didn't know that. How much was the most expensive house? $200 million, and they say they paid cash for it. Mm. They had it built? Oh, it was somebody no, else's house. It was somebody else's house. Now nah, they said it took 14 years to build that house. Yeah, but they didn't build it. But who built it originally, though? Somebody like some else. kind who of prince? He was a, uh, I, I know the architect was famous, but I don't know who owned it. Mm. That's a good question. Mm. $200 million. Because to me, yeah, they famous, but whoever sold it is the most famous person. They, like, he done mm. sold the most expensive house on, on yeah. earth. It didn't belong to Peter Nygaard, the designer that got arrested? I don't know. It didn't. I think it's Peter Nygaard's old house. And the other house, the old, you know, the old house, they kept it, but it's just, it's, you know, it ain't nothing. So that's what they, that's the what they paid house. for it, two hundred million. That's what it's worth. Cash. That's what yeah, they, they paid two hundred million. The other house. So it's probably worth three hundred million then. I don't know. Probably worth two hundred at least. Two hundred twenty-five. I mean, if the housing market is current, I'm saying it's two hundred right, million. Because the other, they got other little old house that cost just a hundred million. Ain't no little old house owned by Jay Z and Beyonce, <laughs> sir. Hundred million. Ain't no little old hundred million. The little this house. This is a little old hundred million dollar house. No. The little house <laughs> is a hundred million dollars, right. and that's where they like the school where their kids go to school. All right. Now. This house. That's gonna be the party house. Yeah. Two hundred million dollars. Yeah. The highest paid property in California ever. Yeah, that's what we said. Well, we that's how much it's sold for. But I think it's Peter Nygaard's old house who has his own. He has his own keys off the islands. Like he's a designer out of New he's a designer out of Canada, but he has um stores in New York, but he got arrested on kind of that trafficking thing. But I think that's Peter Nygaard's. I'm pretty like sure it's Peter Nygaard's old house. Thing? Well, young females, he was kind of friends with the Epstein guy. Yeah, but he's uh Epstein just sold that island for like it, it wasn't no two hundred million dollars. It wasn't a hundred million dollars. You know, the island the Epstein had where right. all the freaks would come over. Right. But Peter Nygaard's out. house, Peter oh, Nygaard's house, that yeah, was Peter Nygaard's was two hundred million, and then Peter Nygaard got his own island. You can look him up. Um, he's got his own island, and he has the keys named out here. It's called like Nygaard Keys. Yeah, yeah, he's got some money. He's but Jay Z, this was the rich, the the highest selling house in the history of California, and they paid Paper. cash. Do you know what the next two hundred million is in, the, in, the, in the country right now? White guy still benefited. No, I don't. New York. Uh, some penthouse, two hundred eighteen million. Is that right? Yeah. That sounds like the highest. Then, if it's two hundred eighteen and this was no, two hundred. New York, though. New York, it's in California. Oh, highest, highest in California, California is okay. So New York is still got a higher. The highest in the okay. country property right now for sale is two hundred eighteen in New York. Some penthouse. That's a lot of money, man. That's a, a lot penthouse. of money for a house. Because a penthouse can't be that it. big. Only way, only way I could rationalize that in my mind is the land. I mean, it had to be just so much land. Right. But I cannot imagine a $200 million house. But that's like, just what's the scale of it? Like, what's the square brain. footage? Huh? What type of material are they using to make it worth $200 million? That's a, a lot of house. Gold. The guy who owned the house, you know, he was an a, a, a artist. Yeah. Well, he, he was an art seller. Art, he was an art collector. Art, art collector, yeah. Well, it must come with all the art, with the Mona well, Lisa and said, everything. I'm talking there. about I want the floors to be made out of baby bone. <laughs> Go, baby, baby, baby bones. bones. Baby bones. <laughs> I don't know what babies you got them from. They could be ancient babies. I ain't saying kill no new babies to make my floors. Kill no new but babies. But I just saying don't kill like no new babies. babies. To, yeah, get some old babies. Crush that the shit. Man, now I'm tell you, off. But this is a poor man's opinion. Mm. I saw pictures of the house. You wouldn't pay two hundred million. I wouldn't pay. Hell no. But I mean, it was straight. I'm sure it's got some amenities and stuff. That I mean, two hundred million dollars. When I think of a beautiful, right, like a beautiful two hundred million dollar house. Huh? I mean, it's not I, what I. It's ultra modern, you know. But, yeah. But the stuff in the two hundred million dollar house is stuff you can't see. Like you imagine, they got a panic room that go six stories down into the into the ground where if it's an earthquake you still good still I'm talking about, talking about 50 shades of gray oh it's six. a thousand shades of gray type of little freaky room in that mother you already know it's a freaky but, but, room uh, for 200 with 200 people in there million dollars. Like 200 million dollars guess how many times they stayed in a year yeah they said they're yeah. not gonna stay there right how many times they stayed in a in a year how many times they stayed one week in a month 
I'm and talking about it's what? a freaky room with just little and naked and people what? in there but that's just staff. always there. You fully staffed with naked it's, people, it's I'm telling you. Staff all year long, but they only stay So there. Beyonce and Jay-Z got naked people in the house. But yeah, that's, when they ain't there and when they there, they just waiting on them. They just they just okay. sitting there, just spread eagle, just waiting on who that who that pulling up. Whoever it is, they don't. They just can't be naked. They, they gotta be spread eagle. Whoever pulling look, up. Look, look, look at your man Rick Ross. Rick Ross said everybody who got houses up for foreclosure, call him. He buying them. He just bought Meek Mill's house in Buckhead for uh, four million dollars. Or two million dollars, sorry, two million. Yeah, two. Million. That's that's, that's, that's one hundred percent. That's one percent of what the Jay Z. He gonna wish he had that money for his bail like, when they had that car party uh, next month. It's more like it's right. like they got a little Allen. I, I think it's like they've got, yeah, it's like they've I got think one of the best looking houses they got in Hollywood would be the guy that used to be the lead singer Kiss. If you look up Gene Simmons' house, I think that house he is, sold it. Gene Simmons, yeah, but that's that but to it me wasn't would, nowhere near. Oh, no one near. But I'm just saying that when you look at that house, if you got it, that's how I was like, okay, I would pay it. Like if you got that type of money, I would pay for Gene Simmons' house. If y'all look it up, that house is very nice. I think it was like went for like twenty million or something. something. But I, I'd it pay for that. I think we can all agree that two hundred million is extra. Like that's that's not a normal but, price. But, that's that's a price like you are gonna prove something. But, but look at how with California that price. is made. L A is made. Bel Air is considered to be the most highest property in the country. All right, but then he no, no, no. in Malibu, no. San Francisco, San Francisco higher than Bel Air now. Yeah. Wow, San Francisco. You, and, 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 and the thing about San Francisco now, you can't go out. It's a rock, so you only can go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like Philadelphia. I guess it depends on what you like. I like, it's like property myself. in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is an island. That's the only way I could imagine paying two hundred million dollars for yeah. anything. It had to be a a, whole, a spaceship. I had to buy Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a two hundred million dollar penthouse. How, how much square footage can a penthouse really have? Even if you give somebody extra floors, you would think you max out at like 5,000, even 10,000. No, nah, if the penthouse it matches the top of the building, however square, square footage that building, yeah, it could be a whole your block. Your penthouse can still have extra floors. Your yeah, penthouse yeah. don't have- Right, that's what I'm saying. It could go, it could get, it could, it could, yeah, three floors. it could be up or top three, four, so it, it, that's a lot of square footage. Yeah, but it ain't oh, acres. Man. What you talking about is acres. You know what I'm saying? Acres. Right, right. You, it ain't going to be acres of indoor space. But if you ain't got no outdoor space when you're in a penthouse. Really. But if you're a person that don't like to cut grass, you don't matter. Right. What the, what I do feel you that. Shit is it? I'm just telling you if it's people that don't so like to don't cut grass. Chicken, if you don't, you don't speak chicken, chicken, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he like, I talk to my chickens, yeah, I cut right, my cut own grass. grass. Right. I'm, I'm just gonna, saying there are people out there who don't want to cut grass. Like, I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't like to cut grass. I just like the way it looks when it's cut. Oh, you know so how are you gonna get it done? Yeah, like because Reggie, Reggie so Bush, give me a and get the ride. like Reggie Bush did not own a house in New Orleans. He stayed at the penthouse on the top of the Hilton and down in New Orleans. Yeah, I know. And so, yeah, I, know. Just, I live in New grass. York, right? So living in New York, people are like, why would you pay twenty eight hundred dollars, uh, twenty six hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment? But when you live in New York and you live in That's somewhere like is. Manhattan, yeah. you don't need a car, right? So you 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 you're saving right there. But you lay where you stand at. When you come downstairs, you got everything in walking distance, mm -hmm. train distance, bus distance. Mm -hmm. distance. So a lot stores. of people in New York don't own vehicles. Right, right. And then when they come to Atlanta, they don't even know how to drive. Yeah. They never own a car. Yeah. That's and why so I keep living getting in New hit. York. The amenities that you need, <laughs> the amenities that you need in New York is right downstairs. You you could be staying in a forty-five, you know, yes. story building, but when you come downstairs, yeah. The, the, Grocery store. So, so, I mean, it's all relative. But yeah. when you get talking about a two hundred million dollar house, that ain't relative to nothing. nothing. That's 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 a super unrelatable. Lots of SBI yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's house. unrelatable. You lot just, of house. Like, lot what of, do you I do? Can't do even I can't even. And, and you're gonna and you're gonna facilitate it all year long, with, even though you don't stay there. You got to do the grass. So, what can you um, name that ain't in a two hundred million dollar house? It automatically got a bowling alley. Uh. A, 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 a broke nigga. <laughs> right, ain't a, that's the only thing that ain't in there. Is that's, a, the only thing. Right, right. that's the only thing a $200 million house don't come How with. many pools do we got to have? Just two, at least two pools. What's the light bill, y'all think? What's the power bill? Because I know people that got $16,000 right. uh, in light bills. Just, you I'm going to say, I'm scale, say, I'm say, I'm I'm say five right. grand a month. Oh, no, it's more than five grand because I, 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 it's way more than five grand. More than five grand. Yeah, I know people got. I know people got more than that. I remember when George, 
Huh? Who do you think got the most expensive house in Georgia? It's Rick Ross. Probably, uh, no, not Rick Ross. Ross. Oh, he said no, most expensive. He got the yeah, biggest house. Rick Ross. My bad. Rick it ain't Ross. Biggest house. He got the biggest house. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about him, yeah. Yeah, but he Tyler built his too, though. Ooh. Tyler Perry didn't he get some land? He built his like it's a yeah, whole little estate. Rick Ross is in no, I'm talking about Tyler though. Perry though. His stuff is kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. he playing his all right. the way. Two chains said he done bought two thousand acres behind. Two chains ain't nowhere near Tyler. Oh, man. Man. Right. He only got two well, chains. He He's still wearing jewelry. Tyler Perry wouldn't be caught dead with a chain on. He said he done bought two thousand acres. Bless his heart. It ain't, ain't developed. I bet you Tyler Perry got, got way TV more. There. Right, right. I mean, no, I'm uh, saying that, the, the reason I, I would I add would, add up two thousand acres worth I'm of pine say, trees. That's I'm, what he got I'm right there. I'm going out there by me. Got fifteen hundred. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say Tyler Perry don't have the most expensive either. property either. I'm gonna say that right. because the lady who owned Phillips and she owned Lenny Square and the lady who owned that mall stuff, you know, she built her own community. Yeah. She got her own subdivision. Yeah. I had to do some work out there. Mm -hmm. And her son, you know, he got a mansion out there. She got some property, dog. Yeah. So we just saying we ain't said. endorsing none of the work Bo Pete did out there. No, man. She did. got some property, yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he just worked, she he got some property, out, dog. Leave, leave show, that ain't ball, leave leave some property. Golf courses in your backyard. You know, just like Blake Braithleton and all that. Yeah. Man, Georgia has got some of the most beautiful properties. I ain't ever seen no two hundred million dollar house in Georgia no, or property. No, 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 but I'm sure it exists, depending on how much property you get. Yeah, well, but I personally cannot imagine occupying a two hundred million dollar no. house. Somebody's gonna it's try. On. Somebody gonna try. Somebody gonna try to. It's on. Oh yeah, somebody top it. I think yeah. it's only on. What is it? Eight acres? Or something like that. It ain't no. It ain't no big whole lot of land. Where? Yeah. But uh well 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 uh Holyfield House before he sold to Rick Ross, they said, you know, when he had uh, it, Holyfield. Yeah. They said his lawn care loan was hundred and ten thousand dollars a year. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, but that's you know that's man. cool. You get one guy and just get let it house. grow. But that house wasn't worth nowhere near that. I think Rick Ross let paid it. If I remember correctly, it was just four five million dollars he paid for five point eight million. Mm -hmm. like five point eight. Million. Mm -hmm. That ain't yeah. You talking about it. Jay Z and him got a two hundred million, yeah. two hundred million dollar house, dog. That's forty times. Basil ain't got that in California. Million. So where does John Travolta live? Because he's got a two full airstrips. Yeah, yeah. Is he? He's, no, he's, I guess he's no two hundred million dollar house. Huh? I mean, I, I'm asking location. you. I'm asking. I don't know. Location. Is he? In, is John Travolta in California? He's somewhere else. No, he's outside of New York. I think he lands his seven forty seven. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. I would think seven forty seven. Pull up under the house. Get out of the plane. Walk up to the kitchen. Yeah. So I was wondering how much his house is. Maybe Sister Jay can check so on that. Like, I feel like California is location. You yeah, they is. Malibu, yeah, right. Yeah, I Calabasas. It's where you at, man. They got some houses. You know, but pulling up a 747? Uh, there, yeah, but John DeVolta can pull up a 747. That he remodeled <laughs> and he flies it himself. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> bad. <laughs> you parking a 747 like you park a Honda. And then, you know, go he ahead. Got, he got three different planes that, that dock into different parts of his house. Up on his house. Yeah. yeah. House. But like I said, I mean, there's a poor man's point of view. Mm hmm. If he got a fifty million dollar jet, and I don't want one, I just made fifty million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. If he got mm -hmm. three jets, and I don't want one, we even. Yeah. I don't want no two hundred million dollar. Huh? Yeah. All I'm, I'm sure. saying is he better not have the same mechanic Kobe had. Oh. <laughs> just saying, man. A lot of people they never we ain't never really figured out who was working yeah, on Kobe boy. helicopter. We're I don't about to think get it was uh, I want to know who was working on Kobe, but still, but still, nah, if you knew his that was, mechanic, no, no. that was blacklisted amongst all. That was mechanics. weather and pilot era. I think issue. it was. It was just weather. Pilot era. Pilot era. Weather and pilot era. Really want to know the truth? I think Kobe was flying the helicopter. Mm, don't say that. I don't doubt it. I don't think so. Oh, it, it, they say that this boy that was on there with him was teaching him how to fly the helicopter. Not that day. Mm -hmm. not, no, you saying not that day, but I'm saying when you learn how to fly like that, and I bet he got up there, and that guy may have said, "Go ahead and have," until he got in trouble, well, no, and then it was no, too late. Boys, I'm just saying, no, I, my mechanic, if I got all that money, my mechanic gonna have a parachute on my helicopter. The reports said that. that the, no, they what, couldn't find the uh, black it was, it was fog. And it was the fog. No it was the fog, and I think because of such a short trip, yeah. he didn't fuel the helicopter enough. I think he thought it was gonna be an over and back. 
So when the fog got so thick, they they got to a midpoint to where they couldn't see the highway and use it for attraction. I still think Kobe was taking lessons from that boy, and it is very possible until it got in trouble that Kobe was flying there. Well, they did a circular motion for at least thirty five minutes because what it was, they was hoping the fog would lift. And his last his last attempt before the fuel ran out, he tried to climb to see if he was above it. And when he yeah. climbed, that you know, he hit that mountain. Man. I don't think he had anything to do with Kobe, no, but no, hey, I don't think he would try that with his daughter in plane. These yeah. Days. I don't I mean, think he that did. Kind of I just think fuel ran out. If, if any had to play a game, they last game, attempt was to the climb above it. To didn't work. Uh, fuel hit, hit the mountain. Yeah, they because he was it. trying to. He, they had they had been circling for thirty minutes in one field. So when he got low on fuel, I guarantee that last climb that took him into the mountain, they was trying to rise above the clouds because they've been. I guarantee when you're sitting there circling in a pattern, you're waiting in this bad weather. You're just waiting for it to lift because you can't go. You you can't go any farther. You can't see, and you don't have the navigation you to go been back. In a helicopter. Mm-hmm. And has you ever been in one where it was fog? No, because they wouldn't let us go up. Fog? We wouldn't let us go up. He seemed like a pretty educated. He I'm just saying they wouldn't let us go up. He guaranteed what they going to do. I mean, I, I, ain't, ain't, I used to have a pilot license. We I used to fly planes. Huh? I tried to go in the helicopter. They had a white right, list. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm no. <laughs> but DC, when you. <laughs> when you <laughs> the little cheap helicopters in Vegas, they don't let But DC, when you say that, maybe his celebrity thing with Kim, because most people, if it's not Kobe Bryant, they ground you. But Kobe probably. I want to go. We got to play Jason Terry's team, and they gave him granted. But most people, like you and I, they wouldn't have let us get in the air that I type mean, of weather. I mean, I, I have, my license was uh, what they call visual, so if uh, if I couldn't see, I forget even how far it is now. I wasn't allowed to go up. If I exactly, see. but they let him go. He shouldn't have really been allowed to go up. He shouldn't have been allowed to go up. That's the bottom line. Yeah, he shouldn't have go up. He shouldn't have, I don't care who Same it is. Untrue. Yeah, yeah they shouldn't have been allowed to go up. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it might be on his own accord. Yeah, yeah I mean, I like I said, most people be like, no, you can't go, but it's Kobe will try to do it for you and yeah. got up there and it just never lifted. Yeah. Well, I got some news for you. Uh-oh. You have fired all of you. They have added two more letters oh, to the LGBTQ community. Z and Y? <laughs> no, what is it? I and A. JJ. I, I and A stands for intersex, and A stands for asexual. And then the plus. They symbol, added that today. And the plus, plus symbol leaves room for the other sexual identities and orientations Jesus. not and, covered so it's by the LGBTQ. I A A as in A as in A as in Angelo. A plus. So if you want, but they should come first. That's the beginning of the alphabet. Expound on that other sexual identities. What you you can be a a bear or something? I mean, help me out. I mean, you talking so about a plus sign? Like, what do you mean? Is for animals. The you plus mean? is for everything that ain't heterosexual. Right, right. right. People I like guarantee, you. if you try to be like, let's squeeze heterosexual into them letters, they're like, uh-uh. Mm, so people who mm. identify like. I mean, it's know. just it was already ridiculous. It just got down, got straight. I feel like one letter would replace everything. Just the W for weird. If you just include weird, everything that 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 fits everything that ain't on there people, already, be like call, okay, y'all just do things a little differently. Just because they they they're gay or uh, or put or, a D for different. Oh, oh don't you? They're, come they're not you heterosexuals. Don't you if you want to have man. sex with a bear, right. you're weird. Yeah, I'm not a man. I don't want to be a man, what? and I what love the hell men. Are you talking about, boy? <laughs> you can't identify I don't know, but I'm saying you can't call. Can't call. Anyone that's not a heterosexual, weird. That's no, not I'm anyone, saying. but anyone right. that ain't already accounted for, but all the letters they got. Okay. Weird. Then just put a W and be like, okay, it's weird. Whatever it is, you got 17 letters that don't even apply to you. Oh, let me see. Let me Handle see. the let me W. Yeah, let At this point, just be a W. I'm, I'm Live with the W. I saw a commercial. G would be gay. They're well, gonna say B. Is gay though, right? so That's what I'm saying. Gay. That's what I'm, why. Why you have to have the L, G, and a B? T is transgender. Q is queer. The gay is for men. So a lesbian woman is not gay. But well, let's be right. So they they, 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 they divide the levels of women. I'm just saying, ain't nobody going gays into the heterosexual community and being like, oh, man, women. booty. You get a check at every level. Sure. All right, every come every on, level. JJ. What you say, JJ? Lesbian is for women and gay is for men. Right. But what about Bisexual queer? Bisexual is for people who have sex with both genders. Yeah. But what about queer, JJ? Gender is those who identify or express different. Well, I'm trying to read it. Sorry. 
Um, and then you have the the Q, which is for queer. Ain't queer, but shouldn't queer be the same queer. as gay? Yeah, but but queer, ain't queer, queer is not defined. Queer is a catch-all like to city. exclude those who do not identify as exclusively straight and or folks who have non-binary or gender fluid identities. Uh, that's just what it says. So queer is a catch-all, but they still got more letters. For those who are born in different, who those born with differences in their sex traits and reproductive anatomy. And A is asexual. People who are those who lack a sexual attraction or attraction interest to others. Just say unit. See, you can say a unit. You ain't got to put that in there. Because that's, that's, a, that's an old school term for unit. If you ain't attracted to nobody sexually. Right, that's a robot. And they need to get rid of queer. You need to get rid of queer because that to me that's the same as a gay man. Because when back in the day you would call a gay man, you a queer. No, that's sissy. That's boy, queer. let me tell you though. All right, we ain't gonna say back we didn't know us all the statements made ball, today. If you wanted to fight, right. you call a Cuban man a queer. Thank you, boy. <laughs> I don't know what the word queer mean in Cuba. Gay <laughs> <laughs> son, they, they would go crazy, man. You. <laughs> they coming at you. They coming at you, boy. I'm telling you. And they can fight too. So queer is just a question in your queer. Queer is now questioning your own identity, you just not queer. being confident in what queer. you are. Wait, oh, what you say, JJ? It says queer is Q, which stands for questioning their own identity. You damn right. Oh. That's, that's the that's the new straight, definition. But back in the day, back in the day, they had a show called Queer as Folk, and it was all dudes. Queer as Folk. Yeah, even back in the day, they had a show on Showtime called Queer as Folk, and it was all male. So that that's their little new term. But queer, you just a gay dude. My you're thing, same. My I'm thing, just I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> Go back and look. You just a sissy. You as, queer as folk. As black people, we been we been renamed so many times. Negro, and and the folk. other and the other people don't care about what they re, we be Negro. We went from color, color to Negro to. Afro American. Now they got some. They got some new name coming down the pipeline. Whatever they call us, you still got to figure out who you is to yourself. So my thing is, when all our names change, ain't nobody worried about that. So when all they names change, hey, y'all figure that out. Cause to me, you in the same category. To me, to me, you're in the same. I understand you divide how you want to be, and that's cool. You I'm can, appreciate all you, of y'all you as can human say beings. That. You can say that, but no, uh, I'm, y'all was, all good human DC. beings. I ain't mad at none of y'all. It was shocking to me when we had a group of uh, we had a right. lesbian, Mook man's boys, a bisexual, a, a, a gay boy, yeah. a, a transsexual, yeah. Mook man's had them all boys. In the room at one time. You had them all on the show, yeah. Mook man boys. Listen to this. Which listen one this. was Bo dating? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did not. It was a couple of them. They didn't like the other. Uh -huh. So I asked the. They gay, had beef. For example, I asked the gay boy. I said, "Have you considered being transsexual?" He said, "Hell no, I wouldn't do that shit." Unless the weight ball asked me. The transsexual was mad at the gay boy for not changing. The gay boy was mad. The lesbian was mad, and there was one boy in there. I forget his name, but he was a big old dude. He used to play football like he, Brian. He a big foot nigga. <laughs> like, he boy, played just like Brian. <laughs> he boy, played just 14, like him. man. And he had on a mini skirt and some oh. high top all that stuff. And said, I can still play now. Yeah. And, and look like he could. <laughs> and so the inner, the inner acting between them was amazing to me because I never thought, I just assumed. Everybody LGBT. Mm -mm. So they was all they together. Was all one mm -mm. And the gay boy, that was the biggest shock to me when the gay boy, I asked him about going on getting a sex change. He said, I wouldn't do that shit. Mm -mm. Like, you ain't gonna cut my dick off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I'm using this mug. Yeah. Right. That's how it was. Right. I mean, that uh, was going at it, man. He said, right. he said I'm still pissing with the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> but DC, isn't it, isn't it crazy how when Weight Ball just brought up all the names that they give to black folks? But when they get angry, they always go back to that foundation they, of the NI. They, they know where to hit that. Yeah, they, they know where to go back. They can give all the names in the world, but they're going to go back Taylor to that foundation. Green was arguing with a boy, and uh, she was losing the argument, so she knew where to go. Mm -hmm. The boy called her white supremacist, and she said, that's just like me calling you the N-word. Nah, bitch, you know damn yeah. well. <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah, they're going to revert. Damn well. Yeah. What is it about black folks shouldn't go to Florida right now? What is that about? I don't know. Uh, because because we don't need to be going. Friday. <laughs> But I'll come see on. what's going on. I'll be in Orlando Friday. Here I come. Uh, but I'm, I'm coming right out of there now. <laughs> NAACP said don't go. I'm, I'm coming right out of there, but I got to go. You got a bodyguard? You got a bodyguard to go? Go and see Governor yeah, Dishonor. with it. I never carry bodyguards. I carry witnesses. I know that's right. I can handle sure. myself. You I just sure. need somebody to say they saw In what self happened. Defense. And I wasn't the aggressor. He got that silent. I can violently rich. defend myself. You, you hear that, Rich? You just a witness. You ain't really no bodyguard, so you ain't got to step in front of no bullets or nothing. You just got to watch it. You just got to watch it happen. Don't step in front of no bullets out here now. Rich, like, just video. That's all you do. He a video. witness. That's oh, all. Orlando, yeah, let's not, let's not go to Florida. He said Disney is, ain't nobody going to Disney right now. Man, white folk ain't studying this shit. Black folk may not be going like they used to. White folk ain't mad because he... Man, man, get rid man, of everybody man. they want. And then they, they canceled a hundred billion dollars. He announced today, uh, Governor, I call him Governor Dishonest. Uh, Trump called him desanctimonious. But he announced today he is running for president. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. see the black brother hey, running wait. for president too? Hey, Tim Scott. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tim Scott. Yeah. Ain't no way he, he ain't, ain't a brother. Put his he ain't a brother. He just black. All them pawns shot with them little lawnmower, push lawnmower. All them Negroes going to get them now. Go to Mexico. They said, I got to cut the grass. <laughs> no more edging. They be like, you going to edge the grass? What is that? Hey, you know, they said all we'll the Hispanics be back. left. Oh, uh, that's because okay. all the Hispanics left, and, and they said some white people started picking fruit, and they can only last half a day. <laughs> they, said, no. they said they, they left. can't take that heat. They said they couldn't they stay past take lunch. The oh, I think it'd be some high grass in Florida. <laughs> We're hollering. <laughs>